Well, new at 10, you've probably seen some Facebook posts about the terrifying insect that's made its way to the states, the murder hornet. It can be two inches long, and it has a creepy-looking face. Yeah, that makes it even worse. <laughs> Fox 23's Allison Caffrey talked with an insect expert who doesn't have a creepy face. She joins us now from Midtown Tulsa's Woodward Park with why we do not need to be worried. Yes, I agree with you guys. Murder hornets do look scary, but you will not find one at this park and you won't find one at any park in Oklahoma because the murder hornets just are not here. But what you might find here are other insects like bees, and they're actually one of the big reasons that this park is so beautiful. Their name is not the only scary thing about them. The wasps, called murder hornets, can be up to two inches long, they're venomous, and they destroy entire honeybee colonies. Only about 30 wasps are able to kill 30,000 honeybees. The good thing, they aren't in Oklahoma. In fact, Dr. Wyatt Hoback says they haven't been in America at all in 2020. In the U.S., there's no evidence that it's established. There's not been any individuals found this year. It's no concern at all right now. At least no concern about murder hornets taking over. His concern is that people are now killing helpful insects because of a misplaced fear about murder hornets. Unfortunately, a number of people are taking it upon themselves to kill anything that they think looks like a murder hornet. And that includes very beneficial insects like bumblebees. I spoke with some local beekeepers about how important bees are to us. Without the honeybee, a lot of our fruits and vegetables um, that we consume on a daily basis would not exist. I saw from afar some of the bees that James Deming and Jay Ida keep on the Hotel Indigo rooftop. Those exact bees help pollinate our parks. If you see bees at the gathering place, chances are there are bees. We've got gardens, we've got orchards. Um, all of these are a part of, of our community. It's one of the reasons Dr. Hoback says we don't want to mistake a bee for a murder hornet. People trying to somehow get rid of murder hornets are actually causing more harm than good to the environment. He says the bug we see in the park most likely isn't a murder hornet and it doesn't want to hurt us. It's actually helping. Dr. Hoback says if you are worried about murder hornets, you can do some research on how to identify them. Just make sure that you're not accidentally killing those important bees. Live in Midtown Tulsa, covering news that matters, Allison Caffrey, Fox 23 News. All right, and we did learn that murder hornets are scared of something. Praying mantises will tear them apart. How about that? Take that, murder hornets. Did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> found that out. Yes, thanks to YouTube. All right. Well,